Latin America and the Caribbean are living the carnival festivities, which are traditional and historical celebrations in key points and also in landscapes and cities. In many of those, Telesur is there to take all the information, to see the festivities, the colors, the music, and also to take to you all the information and details regarding the joyful celebrations. This is one of the key points in Port of Spain. I am in this uh, location, Trinidad and Tobago. This is the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. And also here it is the Academy, the National Academy of the Performing Arts. This is one of the locations where not only the carnival is full and live, but also where experts and also professors are gathering the information and gathering archives regarding the carnival history and the carnival performances. So from here we are presenting all the details of this carnival, we are having all the stories and we'll give it to you. But for now, let's go to Salvador de Bahia. There one of my colleagues also has histories and colors and musics and the smells of the carnival. Let's see. Salvador de Bahia is one of the cities with the highest number of black people outside of Africa and its carnival is one of the most important expressions of the Afro-Brazilian culture. Precisely, the theme for this year's carnival will be Salvador Afro Capital. Through the streets of Pelourinho, its historical center, it is possible to feel the atmosphere and the musicality of its carnival, like the sounds capoeira master Noronha. <laughs> For him, the carnival is a moment of unity of the Bahian people. It represents everything that the Bahian is, the colors, the movement, the way of being. One dances in one way, and the other in a different way. It adds millions of things, and not only adds empathy, because we have empathy to each other. Because I accept the way he dresses for carnival. One dresses as a malandro, another dresses as a travestite and other dresses as Gandhi. So we get to understand that it's one people united for a wonderful thing. Salvador is taken by colors, magic, religiosity and history. Bahia's carnival is a major attraction for thousands of people who fill its venues to participate in the great celebration. According to figures from the municipality, more than 800,000 tourists are expected in the capital of Bahia for the celebration period. Bahia has a beautiful energy. Everyone is very cheerful, welcoming, and you can feel the carnival atmosphere here in Pelorinho. It's incredible. February's celebration is made up of several musical and artistic expressions which have been developed in more than 130 years of existence, such as the comparsas, here called Blocos de Carnival, the Afro groups, Afoxes, and the electric cards. It is part of our culture when the carnival people gather in the streets, when we see our people showing their culture, seeing our people expressing art, because dance is art, and we also see the electric carts with our national and local artists with their power and all that. It is something beautiful. Carnival for us means the world. For us it is love, it is life, it is celebration, and it's ancestry and culture. Brazil is anxiously waiting for the official beginning of the carnival and a few days before it starts here in Salvador. The music, the colors and the people are already buzzing in all parts of the city. So this is the Red House. This is the seat of the government and parliament of Trinidad and Tobago, where the prime minister and other lawmakers make the key point decisions for the nation. Also, this is a historical building, a point landmark here in downtown Port of Spain in Trinidad and Tobago. This building owns its name to a historical interesting data because on the Jubilee, the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria back in 1897, they painted the building in red. So the people started calling the red Red House. This is a landmark location and from here we are also presenting other information about the carnivals in Latin American countries. This is the case of Bolivia where Freddy Morales has the story of how the government supports the festivities, the celebrations of the farmers and also the end of the harvest. Let's see. Where it is celebrated the carnival fulfills its function as a big party and the cities and rural areas of Bolivia do not escape from this. 
el carnaval de Santa The carnival of Santa Cruz, the joy that we always project in our courses, in our rains, the colorfulness as well. A small sample of this celebration was exhibited in La Paz, where dancers from various regions of the country arrived. And every year, the Anata or peasant carnival stand out, who enter the cities dancing loaded with the fruits of the harvest, celebrating the fertility of the earth. As in the 16 provinces, we have Andean Anata, and that is all cultures and their uses and custom will be demonstrated in the Andean Anata, the Day of Comadres. So we from here, we are invited nationally and also worldwide. The carnival is also an opportunity to promote the gastronomy of each region. We are betting on the revival of tourism, so we are investing more than 200 million bolivianos this year for the construction of hotels and lodgings in different tourist destinations in Bolivia. It is a source of pride for us to refer to Oruro, but not only Oruro. We have compadres and comadres in Tarija, the Anatas in Villazón and Tupiza, the Carnival of Concordia in Cochabamba, the Carnival of Beni, Pendio and Santa Cruz, picturesque in our Amazon. And in the case of Bolivia, a good opportunity to campaign for respect for diversity and call for unity. We are not only going to demonstrate our comparsas, the contrapunteo, we are also going to show the gastronomy that is combined in the carnival. From here, my brothers and sisters, we want to call. The carnival calls for unity, for the integration of all Bolivians. In Bolivia, the greatest expression and magnificent of the festival is the Carnival of Oruro, with more than 40 fraternities of folkloric groups that dance and sing for 18 hours in the center of the city. A magnificent that has made it one of the most famous in the world and recognized by UNESCO as an intangible heritage of humanity. The handcraft items are an active part of the Trinidad and Tobago's carnival. The locals sell the pieces, but they also share traditions, skills, ability, and years and years of this generational art artistry and skill. Let's see more about this manifestation. In many places of the city of Oruro, at more than 3,700 meters above sea level, send out as its main symbols the mining helmet, the toad, the snake, the ants, the lizard, and the condor, all of them related to its sumptuous carnival. It is a pilgrimage in the form of Dan. It means faith for Oruro, faith and hope for better days. La the pilgrimage, the walk to where the Church of the Virgin del Carmen is currently located, better known as Virgin del Socavón, turned into a dance, a story that is lost in time. This carnival is not only from the colonial period as it is understood since the appearance of the Virgen del Socavón in 1739. It is from a previous period because the place where the Temple of the Virgen del Socavón was built was an ancient huaca, a shrine of the pre-Hispanic period of the Urus clan. The ancient inhabitants of these lands worshipped Andean divinities. One day, a sorcerer named Huari, a demigod, convinced them to choose the wrong path until the arrival of a Nyunsta, a young girl who made them see their mistake. Huari, who had personified himself in a sorcerer, to teach them hatred, evil, sorcery. So once the Urus disobey Huari, Huari gets angry. And that is why he sends them these plagues of the viper, the toad, etc. And then the new star appears and fights an epic battle, a tremendous battle with a sword, which he splits the viper in two, petrifies the viper, and then a giant toad jumps out and generates tremors in the city. 
Huari defeated, was sent to the depths and became the uncle. The legend survived the Incas and the Aymara and was taken over by the Spaniards who replaced the Ñosta by the Virgin of Candelaria, also pious and good. They added elements of Christianity as the saints. They staged the fight between good and evil and thus evangelized. It is the only place in the world where you can see in the same temple the Catholic image of the Virgen del Socavón, and in the same temple a mining shaft where the uncle of the mine is two contradictory elements. The pilgrimage reaches the feet of the Virgin of Candelaria, considered miraculous, but homage is also paid to the uncle or devil that jewels in the depths of the earth, even to the plagues of the punishment of Huari, the toad, the viper. Freddy Morales. Telesur, Oruro, Bolivia. Think about the carnival, we think about food, music, customs, colors, and culture. But little we know about the historical and religious roots of these celebrations. The Cambalay is one of them. The Cambalay was the contestatory festivity that the slaves had and performed uh, behind the master's eyes because they were banned from the carnival celebrations. And it coincides with Monday and the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday in the Holy Week. This is the historical and also the religious origin of the carnival celebrations and also they started with the Cambalay, the primal celebration that then turned and evolved into the carnival. The Cambalay has a historical origin too. The name is from the French that means caña quemadas in Spanish or burnt canes in English. That's why because the slaves had to burn the cane fields, the cane fields that were used for the cane sugar production, and they had to burn it to avoid the pests and maybe animals from attacking them in the fields. That's the origin of the celebration, that's the origin of the Cambalay and the Carnival. But there is another explanation, and the historical uh, origins of the Carnival started here in the historical churches of the Caribbean countries and the Latin American countries. This is the church, this is the Catholic Cathedral of Port of Spain here in Trinidad and Tobago. It started the construction in 1816 and concluded in 1851, but it's offering services since 1850. This is a landmark location and from here I'm announcing and presenting other stories about the carnivals. So let's go now to Sao Paulo. There my colleague Nacho Lemus has other details about how the people is gathering the details, the resources and preparing for their carnival. Let's see. The NMB Sambodrome is ready to receive the Samba schools of Sao Paulo. In the countdown to the biggest party of Brazilian popular culture, the Samba School Unidos da Vila Maria is moving at a fast pace to finish the last details. The school has 70 years of tradition in the neighborhood. We started small and grew with the rhythm of the community and the Samba School helps in all areas, both in commerce and inclusion because it also generates income. Throughout the year, the neighborhood has been preparing for a challenge where the collective is sacred. Sometimes you need a lot from the community and the community needs a lot from us too. So everything has to be integrated. The carnival must be together with the people who produce. Everything, anything must be discussed among all us, otherwise it doesn't work out well. The resources from Carnival Conquest and television broadcasting are sources of profit for the Samba schools as well as events during the year and donations. Dropping out of the special group of the competition can mean abrupt losses in resources with incidents on the budget of social activities such as those developed today by Unidos de Villa Maria. Beyond the carnival, there is a part that is the regard of the community. We also have dentistry, physiotherapy, ballet, judo, capoeira, theater, music. So the work that the samba school does is much greater than that of the samba drum. But the samba drum is very important because there we get support to do all this. In the school shed, Brazilians are working against the clock to finish making the floats. In 2024, the school will pay homage to Ogun, Itarisha and patron saint. 
by traveling the passage from Africa to the syncretism in Brazil with San Jorge. To tell that moment of the Villa Maria with that energy, with strength, with battle of wanting to go up to the special group from where she fell, made this the theme that had to be for this year for her to talk about her own patron and warrior. Despite its custom of being among the biggest samba school in 2023, Villa Maria was relegated to the Access Group. The energy of Agum and the strength of the community of workers that day by day gives battle promised the return of the school to the special group of the Carnival of Sao Paulo. Thank you. So yeah, we are closing this carnival time, but if you want to know how the carnival is gearing and going on in other cities of the Caribbean countries and Latin American countries, stay with us because we will have more details, we will have other stories and also the joyful celebrations of the carnivals here. And now I'm saying goodbye the Trinidadian way with a cold coconut and the water. Bye.